Hang on just a minute, folks, while I get everything set back up here. Uh, Okay, folks, hang on just a minute. You're going to have to turn that down. You're going to have to turn that down. All right. All right, folks. Don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'm trying to get, get the camera all ready. All right. Uh, and my problem is, is this hokey... Um, uh, dealio that I uh, uh, from uh, mount I made for this camera because the other one got busted. Um, is uh, trying to get it to uh, behave uh, and get it because uh, it doesn't like it doesn't have like fine up and down adjustments. So I'm like trying to. Get it to uh, show what I'm working on here. I think I didn't make that work. Uh, all right. All this pottery stuff is off to the side here because I've been digging through it. So, all these tools. So, anyway, uh, welcome back to Dan the Dirt, everybody. I mean, we are uh, in the middle of uh, doing our pottery and stuff, so I'm gonna or, uh, getting our sponges ready. So I guess we'll jump right into that. Let me get this out of there. We uh, we also fixed our design flaw with some wood bushings for our rolling pins for our rolling pins. So hopefully that'll uh, help with that situation. All right, I'm just trying to get everything all situated. And uh, let's see. Uh, whoop. Oh, I'm almost fell over there. Ah. Uh. All right. Folks, I got my uh, fillet knife to, uh, that I use for my fishing stuff. I've got two of them. I've got the smaller one and a bigger one. These came, uh, my mom gave me these before she died with, uh, with a bunch of tackle. And anywho, um, so uh, I guess we'll start with uh, what we're working on here. Uh, we'll go right into... So, I took my one of my sheets of plywood. I have two of them here, and one under my feet here. These flippers here. So I have two of these sheets. They're uh, they're uh, two by two, two foot by two foot squared. And I made my eighteen inch uh, circle. And I took my compass. And um, so after I removed the pencil, I put in one of the pottery tools um, like this. So it sits in there like that, so in the pointy part of the tool. And uh, the other end here, this dull, this wider, duller end, because I didn't want a big hole in the pot, is going to be the, what's going to scribe the line around the pot here. So I'm trying to see, make sure you all can see that. So as you can see, whoop, that put, let it fall out of there. So as you can see, uh, when I do this, that it will allow it to scribe a circular, uh, an 18 inch circle, like that, all the way around the pot, like that. And 
we have a five foot half inch thick wall or, or for our walls strip over here a three inch thick slab uh, I'm keeping spraying it, keeping it wrapped up to keep it moist so it don't dry out because I got to be able to shape it. And we are going to make our sl a, a slab. I moved um, the uh, yardsticks outward. Uh, I think it's like 20 inches or something like that, and at and move that out so that way I can have room to roll out the slab three inch sticks for the bottom. And then after the slab is big enough, I already marked it on here on this on this um, on these on these uh, yardsticks on both sides. Then I, that slab will go up here, and then I can uh, um, be able to, to trace it uh, or lay it up here and be able to uh, make my scribe, and then uh, then trim it out um, with one of my pottery tools. Uh, probably this one right here would be probably the easier one to use. And I'll just go around and, and gently just carve, uh, carve out the, the circle the rest of the way with the scribe from the scribe line. And then we'll bring the sidewall up. But we're also going to need to lay down um, uh, some of that parchment paper. Um, and uh, But right now we're, we're in the middle of um, getting our, uh, our sponge material um, trimmed up. So I guess we'll go back into that. And uh, so what I did was I been, I marked it all because I, I the sponge is two inches and I need three inches to, to fill in the void and this is one inch so this is going to added to this is three but it's, I've only got one of these so what we're going to do is just continue trimming these edges off so I still have the square blocks but um, but as you can see I'll I'll have some one inch shims to go on top of this these blocks. So it'll make it a total of, of three inches to help with, so that the bottom of the pot, when I flip it over on these boards, that's why I have two of them, uh, so that the, uh, center, the the bottom of the pot doesn't collapse when it's upside down. That's the whole idea of the sponges. So that's what we're working on now. And uh, so I'm trying to get gently get them uh, cut and trying to be careful because these this, these fillet knives of mine are very very sharp. And they're, uh, so I'm roughly trimming one inch off of each side to use for these extra shims. So if you guys will get a visual here once I'm done of what I'm trying to accomplish. There we go. Okay. So one sponge is already done. And we're just, well, we're trying to make sure we have enough shims because we got to be able to ha manhandle this at least a little bit. And the more stems that that pot has underneath, the less likely it's going to be to crinkle the sidewalls or collapse the center. So that's why we're taking and going to all this trouble to make these shims with these sponges. There we go. So now you guys can see... There we go. Two more sponges to do. All right, there's two down, two to go.
we go. Just keep trimming it down. As you guys can see, I'm being very careful because this knife is sharp. All right, there's there's three of the blocks done. One down, uh, one left to go. And I just took a red permanent marker to mark out the sponge so I, I could get exactly one inch off of it on each side and use them as sh uh, shims. And then I'll use them and this one to cut to help keep the pot from from collapsing when I have to flip it. it these two. Um, these two uh, square pieces of plywood are, are, are like, I guess, like my jigs or whatever to be able to flip it over. You know what I'm saying? So that's, uh, you know, uh, why uh, there was some little bit of specialty stuff that I had to, to come up with watching other people's stuff. And, uh, but you, if you want to make pots, these two pieces of uh, quarter inch plywood are a must have. You're going to struggle trying to flip the pots over without making them collapse. And I tried using, I seen somebody's video where they use cl little clay pillars. That did not work for me. It, uh, it just ended up making making it hard on me. And so, uh, yeah. There we go. And there. Okay. All right, we got all our pieces. So I'll show you guys. So this is our square. I mean our circle uh, right here. I put it. I scribed it with my uh, my compass set up there. And uh, so anyway, let me get all the little end pieces off to the side in a pile here, right over here. That way I can just grab them, and then we'll grab and we'll do this. Put the center, the little center sponge there. Okay. Let me put the fillet knife away. There we go. Okay, so you guys can see the circle that I scribed with the pencil and the compass. What you want to do is put your pieces uh, like this. Because you got to remember, uh, the bottom of the, the edge of the pot, I'm going to have a, a clay edge melted in there. So it'll be kind of strong. So you're kind of wanting it kind of like in between. You want to try to make the gap about like that. So imagine that the clay slab is there. So you will do, be like that, right? Now, the other thing though, uh, however, is that I wanted to make sure I did this center sponge. So what I had thought about was maybe turning this sideways, okay, like that, and put this one like this in the center because it's exactly one inch. That one there, that one there, look at that. And boom. And boom. And boom. Now I could take that other little sponge out of there and get, get uh, let's see. Can we get away with the, uh, yep, let's see here. Yep. How about like that? Like that. And like that. Yep. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope. It'll be more like that. There we go, like that. So as you can see, that will give me the, the strength that I need to hold the pot up. And uh, uh, it's, you know, it'll help hold it in the center. And then um, uh, this will help kind of hold the outer edge up. And yeah, so I've used most of the sponges except for one piece. So as you can see, that right there, it just, you know, allows that so that when the when the uh, pot is rolled over, it, look at that, I can literally rest my arm on that. So you see what I mean? So that slab is not going to fall in. So that's our, that's how we're going to do that. So, so that, just so that I remember, I'm going to take these and stick them exactly this way off to the side here. Oh, we will have to make our slab first, so we won't be able to do that. Leave everything right there. 
take our sponges with it. Let's check our glue job because the one side I that's yeah, still a little bit tacky, but it should be good enough. All right, let's see. Yeah. All right. There we go. Almost got it. Just got to fiddle it around till I can get it. There it goes. There we go. Now we're inside of there. We just need the other handle. Probably hide under here. And there we go, folks. So now it won't roll, it won't roll around no more where it was wanting to do that one doodah before. Now it's pretty solid like that. Look at that. So pretty sweet. That was our homemade 20 uh, four inch deal there. Okay, we're gonna set this one uh, off to the side. And I'll be able to explain this in the way I move this jig. Oops. Let me make sure my birches are not hanging down from sitting on this chair so it don't pull them down. Ugh, we don't need to see all that. This ain't only advanced. I'm trying to be somewhat civil uh, while I'm online. You know, but even though I'm a hillbilly and an ape most of the time. Okay, now, we'll get all this off to the side. Okay. Uh. Now, you guys can see that I made that same circle. It is 18 inches uh, in uh, diameter, and it's 56.50. I rounded up just a little bit on that second number. I think it was like... Uh, Five four or five or something, but I or five four seven, whatever it was. I rounded it to five five oh. Anyway, so you see, I did that circle here. Now our jig, which uh, I'm going to need to put this back in the screw gun so we can have that ready. Because we're going to have to lift it up enough to pinch some of this parchment paper so that it doesn't stick to the table. Now I uh, I put marks. On this side, on this ten on here, I just pick, I just picked a spot that was just on the outside of these. So I did a mark here and here to make sure that it was wide enough so I have enough to trim. Because obviously, if if the clay is too short, it's gonna I'm not gonna have enough and it's gonna be a mess and I'll have to redo it. And uh, we don't want all that. So now I just gotta figure out where the drill is. Ugh. You see where I set it. Here we go. <sighs> no brain, no pain. Think about it. all out and about there okay now we got to get our wax paper which oh, hopefully this ain't the new the whole new roll I hope not hopefully this is the used roll uh, yes this is the this is the used roll and we need to make sure we're going to use this up first. I'll show you guys this. Okay. Now. We're going to need to. 
I'm going to uh, screw just, we're not taking it off, but we need to lift this up enough to where when I screw it back down that this paper will pinch underneath. And it'll be the same for that side. I'm going to pinch the paper. Now, I've got some help coming. Uh, and so, uh, whenever they're ready, they, they're uh, in, in the middle of eating. And uh, hang on a second. You almost ready? Devil lady! Hey, Ranch! Yes, ma'am! Okay, folks. Now comes the fun part. So we're going to need this. And my help's coming in. We've got our spray bottle to keep our clay wet so we're ready to let it dry. That's what I keep doing in sides as I had spurted them last night and then and some today earlier on the last stream. So that way that clay stays moist until we need it to set up to dry. Because it can't not have any moisture in it when you go to fire it or it'll crack or make the pot explode. It can't have no moisture. So we better get some of this stuff moved off out of the way. Dropping all kinds of stuff here, making all kinds of trouble for myself. Where do you want me? Uh, just hang on a second, because we're, we're a little bit discombobulated here. Oh. Something new. Huh? Something new. I didn't hear you. Um, something new. What about what's new? Discombobulation. That's never nothing new. Well, I know. That's, that's sarcasm, dear. Yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that I'm I'm, I'm too busy to working on this stuff to listen to your to your craziness. Sometimes the sarcasm eludes you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, especially when you, when you know there's that art of uh, ignoring. <laughs> yeah. Never. Uh, it's called the you don't listen to the BS filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, here we go. We gotta gently take this side up. Not all the way out. Just enough to lift it up so we can get the, the sheet to come up under it. All right. Do you have the paper already? Right there, honey. Okay. Uh, I almost should have enlarged these holes some. You need a screwdriver to get up underneath there? No, because it'll bend up busting the rulers. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Uh. <sighs> I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna get it to where it'll do where we'll do it now. Now it will. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to take it all the way out. Yep. There we go. Uh, luckily, I already marked it, so we won't lose our our, our place. <sighs> okay. All right. Set that there. Leave that one there, because they all go they only go a certain way. <sighs> Okay, just need you mm -hmm. to hold that right on that edge. Just put both your hands there. Don't bump the camera. Yes, sir. Oh, is that going to be... Yeah, you better get the new roll. Go ahead and scooch that down this way. 
There we go. Well, we're not at the edge. So. That's fine. Okay. Just, just hold it right here like that. Just like that. Okay, you know, we got to screw this one down so it clamps it. Okay, clamped. One more clamp. Line all the holes up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think. readjust it. I can see like up till about where that is, that box is. I didn't touch it. It's because I don't have proper adjustment. I can't do anything with it. it. Like it's big click or no click. Let me try. There. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let me turn that. Let's see. There we go. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Well, come say hi. Okay. You have to finagle your way around. Yeah. Oh, you got it like in the, uh... Yeah, it's... <sighs> yeah, that's why this wall is coming out. I can't keep fighting like this. <clears throat> okay. We got two people in the stream. I see that. You gotta... Be careful, that... Oh, that's yeah, okay. I, I, oh, I didn't realize you were going to lift that. You, it's going to collapse if you don't have that pin in, in there. Is the pin in there? Yeah, it looks to be in there. I, it was, it's never been glued in. I have to hot glue that. I don't know why it comes in a store like that. Yeah, well, that's the wall. Watch your leg. I'm alright. Scooch over in there. Yeah, just lean down in there and say hi. <laughs> Try to wait through. Hello. Walk <laughs> okay. Alright, so now what? Now we gotta do the next one. <clears throat> okay. What are we gonna do with the screw gun? There we go. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know about the screw gun, you're screwy. Yeah, well, we all know how that goes. Look. I'm gonna get this tool cleaned up so we don't crush. Okay. Oh my god, back to the other again. 
Yep. Okay. Holding up a thousand dollar bill. Well, Just hold your hand on it. It would hold on. I have an itch. Well, oh. that's we all know what that is. That's a, that's a, that, that's that truck stop here. <laughs> wow, never heard that joke before. Right. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, okay. Hang on to let it let it get all that turn. Alright, gotta start on that end. Mm. Alright, hang on. Mm. You gotta let go for a minute. Uh, it's a drill. Let me oh, Alright, there we go. Mmm. Once I find that, I'm good. <sighs> All right, here we go. Hang on to that end. the sheet. see it. But it's not, it's only paper though. <clears throat> Killing your back. Yeah, the stretch like that. Mm -hmm. That one corner. 
funky right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got that. There you go. Now we, uh, okay, so I've got some marks. Can you, can you, can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Can you see my hand? Mm-hmm. Hand mm -hmm. on this end? Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so there's marks on this side to tell me how wide the sheet needs to be because the slab's going to come first. It'll be, that's why this is two yards thick, thick for total, and then once it's all done, where'd the other sheet go? Behind you. Uh, then the then the sheet will come. The other sheet will come over here, and then we'll cut it out. Okay. Now we're probably gonna need that other bag of clay. But bring the whole box in here. Yeah, this is all we got left of this stuff. All right, folks, there's some little tidbits in there, but I'm not going to fool with those because they're a little bit harder than I'd like to deal with at the moment. Okay, here we go. So what we want to do is I'm going to try to get these this stuff kind of mushed out first, so I'm not doing it on the paper until I use the rolling pin. So you guys can kind of see. How I'm doing this. And I'm trying to roll this some of this drier uh, clay into this. Yes, this is heavy. It's like a small child. There you go. Take your bag of, of, of dirt and water, sir. Hang on, folks. Let's just, just hang on a minute, Ange. All right. Our markers is there and there. So this one, I guess, we'll start with in the middle. And uh, if we have to, we can always spurt it with a little bit of water. All right, hang on. Let me see, where's that? Uh, let's see, I think we'll be good. Let me have that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is a big baby, I'm telling you. Now, this is a big dairy right here, guys. We're going to have to cut a chunk off of this, so I'm going to put it in the back here so you guys can still see. All right, now I just got to figure out how it's wrapped. It's all funky. Ugh. There we go. Yep. Okay. Now we get the fun part of doing this. All the pottery tools I got did not come with a cutter. I, I'm gonna need like a butcher knife or something, man. Like a bread knife. Honey, I need to have something. That, uh, this this pottery kit I got did not come with a cutter. Choose your weapon. No, I need the bread knife, Ange. I need the, I need a solid one. Ah. You said butcher knife, so that's why I brought that. I said bread knife. I heard butcher. No, that's what you heard, but I said bread knife. Well, you're live, so I can always go back and see. What yeah, you, said. you can go see for yourself. That's what I need right here. Yeah. Be nice to my knife. That's uh, now I'm going to bash it with my sledge over here. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, what? Huh? Nothing. Love what you. What was that? I didn't say anything. Uh-huh. Here comes the cat to torture you once again. Uh, don't let him up here. You better go keep them busy. Come here. Come, come here. You, you need to stay out of here. Let me put some kind of board up so they can't come in here with you. Come here. I mean, I always shut the door. Come here. Mm. What are you doing? All right, uh, well, I don't know if anybody wants a slice of this kind of bread. Maybe you can make a peanut butter sandwich out of it. Uh, I just don't know if this would be the kind of peanut butter that you would necessarily want to eat, but... Now I'm just trying to be careful not to tear the bag. There we go. Yeah. Come on, over there. All right. All right, we're looking to see where our marks are here. Hopefully that keeps them out, but I can't find them. Okay, so we got a mark. We got a slice we need to put here. Let's put this one here. Hmm. You know, let me let me just use brush clay because this is kind of weird. No. Come on. Come on, Rip. Come on. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Hey, check the stream on your phone. Okay. There's another slice. <clears throat> we'll put it right there. And we need, we need like, let's see. We're going to need another slice. Keep cutting it. I'm trying to be easy with that paper. No, and go, Dirk. You can't be in here. Come here. Uh, uh, no, nope. no, sir, no, sir. Come here. I know. Come on. Here. Come on, bud. He jumped up in my lap. Here, honey, grab him. Cause he's gonna get the paper. <gasps> Come on. Out of here, bud. Come on. You gotta stay out of here, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna be careful of grabbing the paper. I guess. Okay. And let's see. Alright, we're gonna cut uh, some of these other ones into smaller pieces. 
like that. We'll put one there. And one and right after that. All right. Ugh. And one right here. And boom. Like that. Now I just hope it's all going to stay. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Okay. We'll wrap this other stuff up for now. Ugh, my nose is running. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Hang on a second, folks. I need to grab, wet my whistle. And no, I'm not licking my fingers. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll lick my fingers for for a for a nice donation on my uh, uh, coffee.com uh, 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 backslash Dan the Dirt account. Uh, links in most of my videos, and I think it's in my um, description on my channel, y'all. But I, I, that would be the only way I would ever lick my fingers. And uh, it would have to be a pretty good sized donation because there ain't no way I'm putting dirty clay fingers in my mouth unless it's worth it. But yeah, look at that. Look at them nasty fingers. Ew. Ew. All right, so we got our slabs. All kidding aside, all, all on there. Now, uh, the missus' favorite weapon of choice. We have to get that out. Uh, and uh, this rolling pin is just enough. I have to be very careful and keep it square on here because there's only about an inch or an inch and a half on either side that, that I got to play with. So what I guess I'm going to do is probably try to mush some of this out and uh, and then try to roll it with the rolling pin. Like get a nice ramp started. And uh, so yeah. So we're going to, I guess, just like mush it. Mush it. Mush it and like make a ramp so that the rolling pin can get up onto it. And then once the rolling pin can get onto it, it should be able to start rolling it out, and then I'll probably have to trim it as it expands and, like, roll that into the rest of it. So, just a lot of, uh, tediousness here. And we're gonna mush it down, mush it down, mush it down, like that. And just keep doing this. And see how, yeah, so I'm making, like, a little ramp. Now keep kind of mushing this stuff down. So it makes it easier for the rolling pin so it doesn't have to work so hard to get this stuff flat. And then it won't tear the paper either. And we've got our guidelines for here and here. And so if we go past what I marked, it will be good. Hi, sir. What you doing? Everybody wants to come in and visit me now when I'm streaming, huh? What you doing, sir? Hmm? What you doing, Bubba Deb? All right. So we are gonna make uh, make this one a ramp to make it easier for the rolling pin to get up on it and try to get some of the height down. Yeah, yeah, like that, so you guys can see. Now, I'm an amateur. I don't know what the heck, heck heck I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure it out as I go, and whatever makes sense, I try it. If it makes sense to me, I'm trying it. <sighs> Live stream looks good. Ugh, how many in there? Two. Ugh. No, three. Go to coffee.com. K-O-F-I and then search my name. 
Yeah. And then post uh, the link to that page up to my live chat and pin it. Okay. Uh, are you uh, mod in the chat? Well, I was. I can. I was going to go back and watch my show. Never mind. Just post it in the chat. I just heard some coyotes outside howling. Okay, honey. Anyway, looks like Sir is going to hang out while he's going to well, go uh, to his or, blanket. You know, um, I, I, I'm not going to say on stream, but you know, after last night, you needed to. Uh, Yeah. Hope you got some. We talk later. When you're done. Uh, Come on, kitties. Mm. They're just going to come in and out. If they try to jump up, just knock them down. I don't think they get on the table with you. Yes, they do, but... Well, I don't have any other way to keep them out. I don't, I don't know what to do for them. They, they love their dad. I know they do, I know. They want to be with their dad. There's one directly underneath you as we speak. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to get the height of this kind of mush down using my fist and my knuckles to help it make it easier for the roller. <laughs> yeah. so hopefully, Hopefully I can make something happen here. Ugh. All right. Well, ain't nothing to it but to do it. And I'm trying to go easy and slow so I don't tear the paper. Yeah, oh. Yeah, this table definitely needs some more bracing on it. So we'll just keep working at it and it's trying to go slow so I don't tear up my rickety ancient table here. This table is like 40 years old. And we'll just keep rolling it out. Yeah. <clears throat> This is the part that take, is a little more time consuming. And we're gonna have to cut that. Let's see where that new tools are. if this was had a sharper edge on her I may have to take my grinder to do it yeah so see you guys can see I'm just splitting it off of there and I just have to do a little bit at a time and I can see I can move it around into different spots Mm. Yeah, just trying to trim a little excess off and stick them in the uh, st uh, 
little crevices there. Just like that. Just keep tagging it all around in there. And our goal is this line and to this edge and to this edge so we know that we have a big enough diameter. Now it's on to rolling this stuff out. We don't have that the money to buy one of them fancy dancy rollers. One of them electric ones or one of the hand crank ones. I looked at one of the hand crank slab makers. They're basically just a metal bender type deal. I forget the name of it, but it's got like rolls on it. And people will use the metal version, one that bends metal for uh, using it as a clay uh, slab extributor thingy. But uh, those are like a hundred bucks. And damn it, and the dirt ain't rich enough for that. That's too rich for my blood. We got to do it uh, the hard, cheap way. That's for all them people with money. Uh, them well-to-do folks. And we'll put this over in here. Mm -mm -mm. I just keep taking this clay and trying to get it down in the edges here. All right. Ugh. And just keep rolling it out until we get where we need it. See, and then we'll take these little pieces and just keep putting them in the middle. Trim it off. And stuff it down in to, to fill the gaps in the middle. And that's how we're going to roll. Yeah. Trying to go easy so I don't rock the table too hard. See, when I use the handle, it makes it rock too much. All right, just keep trimming these higher edges off. <sighs> there we go. Yeah. See, look at that, that middle's slowly getting filled in, and we still got to go out this way, so that's the other thing. 
we're gonna need a uh, scoop stuff. Let's see, we can we need to take some from this way to shave it off. So we're gonna we gotta go the other way with it. So I'm gently just going through and score it so that it and I'm trying not to scrape the wax paper so it don't tear it. Almost go to the edge. There we go. Like that. Put some of this in that gap. Well, let's roll it out. Let's see how it goes. Ah. Ha ha! Making some decent progress. And then we'll roll it the correct way once we actually can get it down close to what we need. So we're at the line here. That was where I trimmed it at. Scoring it again. Mm. All right. All right, well, let's... Let's roll it out some more. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and some of this stuff when it, this clay when it gets stuck on there will make like little indents. And you just gotta keep peeling it off. This is a clay sticking to the roller. <clears throat> and I'm using my forearms to help roll it. Mm.
Now these thicker bonsai pots, now some of them, like because I guess the Japanese are the ones that like to do the thicker pots. And they do theirs like a coil style, I think, to make them. But, and they call it Nanban or something like that. I don't speak Japanese, so. But this part, obviously, I'm doing it like with this type of technique and not, um, not like making coils and then shaping them. I gotta put something on that paper. Something kind of. Here we go, my ruler. There we go. That should help. So my hand don't get snagged on it. Yeah. Well, just keep working it in there. Keep working this. We gotta get, get gotta get this further over on this side. Oh, we're gonna be about time to trim this back side again. And then little chunks I keep putting on that side that needs to go in. They get caught on the roller. Keep trimming off these high spots on the ends and then just keep throwing this in. Almost got this side filled in the rest of the way, and this side over here is starting to fill back up again. Oh, I almost rolled my uh, cutter uh, tool in there, but that's okay. I just pulled it back out. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Right. Got to trim that again. And just keep going up this side. We got to trim that up that top side up there. Just keep filling it in. Until it's all done. There we go. Another nice little piece. See? Yeah, look at that. Filling it right in. And what and we're like we we're just trying to get just past it so we have enough room and then we'll just keep rolling everything out and then uh and as it rolls out uh, it'll all uh be big enough to, to trim my circle out. Just keep rolling it out.
How you like that? It's rolling out slow but sure. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get or build a new table a lot stronger because this one definitely rocks. Okay, we can trim a little bit off of this side, because this is pretty good way past the mark. So that's the mark there, and we got, oh, over an inch to take off that we can use right there, see? So I can put that over on this missing side here. that and just mush it towards working out. Alright, we can trim a little bit more up. I got a couple little potholes. Look at that. That's pretty good trimming through that. There we go. Now, there's a little pothole here. Pretty easy fill. Mush, mush a little bit in there. Mush a little bit into this edge. And, uh, this edge right here has got a little bit of a crease in it. So we're gonna lead it kind of like high, but mush it down in to get all the get we want we want a nice clean strong edge. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna fill this in up here with that as well. All right, well, let's roll this out. Okay. Get that flat.
go in these little spots and trim this edge. You're just going to keep filling in little uh, low spots or potholes in here. Uh. So now you guys can kind of see we're getting a real nice layer on there. We're getting close. good we got a little dip there from the roller from when we was rolling it the opposite way but we'll get it we'll get it uh straightened out here yeah my nose is running yeah all right hang on Yep, see this little dip right there. All right, where's our mark there? Yep, so we can we can actually get away with taking some of that off right here. I'm just trying to go away from it because I don't want to take away from from it too much. There we go. Now we can take and. Push that a little bit down in there. There we go. Okay. Okay, almost there. It's a little bit high right here in the middle by about oh, a quarter inch in spots. So we're gonna we're gonna just keep it up, keep the roller, I guess, right here in the middle and try to work that that high spot out. Mm. 
Man, this will give you a workout. Is doing a hobby like this. Woo! Use your muscles to work out and your brain. Yeah! How's the stream doing, Ange? How's this? How many in the stream? Okay. Any comments? No. Okay. All right. everybody that's coming in to watch me play in the dirt. I mean, I am Dan in the dirt. I'm just playing with dirt and water, which is mud. Yeah. So there you go. You guys can see I'm just trying to get uh, get this stuff to kind of let me try putting that on this core. Just trying to fill stuff out. Fill it and uh, we'll see how it goes. Just keep moving stuff around as I see to do it. Okay. Trying to see where I should put this one here. All right, everybody's everything's good that way. Well, we'll just we'll just go down this way with it, and we'll just keep rolling. Oh, we got to trim this backside. There we go. Get these high spots out. Table's hanging on for dear life. Clean the roller off again. Starting to get a little bit gummy. I just throw it on that stuff. There we go. Ah. 
Looking good, looking good. Just trying to get this this end over here to finish going. It's almost done to where I can live with it. With me having a stroke, this stuff like this really just helps with depression. A lot of people that suffer strokes deal with a lot of depression. And I had, have and had mental health issues my whole life besides the stroke. So, stuff like this is very therapeutic. And uh, for me, I, I don't, uh, don't have to take any prescription meds for it because they just made me sicker. And that's not medical advice. That's just my personal experience with uh, with the, some of that stuff. And uh, it makes your soul sick. I'll tell you that. And uh, that's one part where I'll, I thank God for Alex Jones because if it wasn't for him, I don't know, I would have suffered a fate worse than death. So for that, I'm forever uh, grateful for, for Alex because he's the one that's, that taught me to always research stuff and uh, and to learn about stuff like he's always been that, I guess, that big proponent of that for me. Regardless of what anybody thinks of Alex, that to me is irrelevant. That should, everybody's entitled to their opinion based on whatever facts or whatever. And their own ex personal experiences, and that's on them. But for me, uh, he... Uh, Help me get away from the, a lot of that bad medication that was killing me. And I'm not a medical expert, and I'm not giving any medical advice. I'm just giving you, sharing my personal experience. I'm not a doctor. Talk to your own doctor. Make your own medical decisions. But that's mine, my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. So that's my little disclaimer, so I don't get sued. What are they gonna swim me for? I don't own anything. I don't have nothing. I don't have any shit. There we go. Now, we're almost got it ready. We're just trying to get the middle to where it's a little less rounded in this middle high, like this high part of this middle. So once I get that, I think we're good. Just working this middle part here. See, I'm putting all my weight in the center here. Yep, see, it's pushing it out over the yardstick so I can be able to trim it off. Oh, that finger I broke or sprained. I think I broke it because it still hurts. Need a broke, uh, it's starting to bother me again. Right. Now we gonna make sure we don't get that dip over here either. that Ugh. God, my stroke hand isn't as steady as it used to be unfortunately He is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we can live with that. Here and hold in. There we go.
almost done. Oh, I better check that battery. Uh, hang on. Let me see what it's at. Hang on. Oh, not get quite dead, but we're going to grab the charger. I'll use my one, because my phone takes the same one as my PS5 controller, so it all works out. Uh, hang on, folks. a little bit of a workout to get that out of there. Oh, something fell. Phone was not tight enough in the uh, thing here. So when I put there we go. Okay, now we're charging. Okay. That ought to work. Oh. Whew. Okay, after all that rolling, I'm gonna wash my hands and take a break for just a minute. And you hold you uh you you select pin.
All right. Okay, folks. Just trying to grab. I gotta grab my drink here. Ugh. Cause I'm getting thirsty, my friends. All right. Let's throw that out of there. There we go. Ugh. Just keep it just enough so you guys can still see everything. Uh, well, I hope you guys are liking the stream so far. And uh, now what we got to do is unscrew the sides again. They're, and they're coming all the way off this time. We won't need them. And then it'll be, it's going to come down to um, uh, trimming this stuff up. So we made it past that mark. And we made it well past that mark. So that, that, uh, that should give us our, uh, our uh, grand total here. Because that was the mark, these marks on both sides were just past the circle. So as long as I went past them, I knew I would have enough. And see, the clay sticks to the roller, and I can't help that, so it kind of pockmarks it a little bit. And it is what it is, but, I, but, I, but I, I, I've got a teasing tool, the pottery tool, that'll help with that. Moistening it up and stuff like that'll help. Now that we get to, to uh, start making the, uh, the feet, and now that we have the proper sponges... We can and we can actually start being a little more uh, careless, not whole bunch, but enough to mark out with it with a with a ruler or tape measure for the uh, uh, for the leg placement and for the drain hole placement. And then uh, I'm going to be putting in Japanese my my pottery name. My bonsai pottery name is Man in the Dirt. You that's right. You heard it. I'm not doing Dan in the dirt. I'm doing man in the dirt. So, so because I don't think I don't think Dan translates into or Daniel even translates into into Japanese. Could be wrong. There's probably somebody out there like, oh, you're wrong, but I don't know. So the closest I could see to is man in the dirt. So that is going to be by my pottery potter's uh, signature in with Japanese letters is man in the in the dirt. And once I get this bottom trimmed out. And uh, I have to start working the actual, um, when the pot's flipped over, when I start putting the legs on and that, that's when I will sign it. Cause, and, and, you know, as a potter, you're supposed to sign your work so that people know that it belongs to you. And then see, once it's baked in, you know what I'm saying? Then, it, you know, it's kind of like your fingerprint. So, you know. And, uh. Bonsai's as long as you take care of them, uh, they can be uh, hundreds of years old if I'm not mistaken. Like they can live forever, you know, I don't know about forever, but they can live hundreds of years if I'm not mistaken. When they're, when they're well cared for. So I really like doing bonsai's uh, and doing the, uh, the and, and really enjoy doing pottery and then building that wood fire, fire kiln. So that's, that's really fun. Um, let me get, uh, let me get another drink here. One second, folks. Is this last year cold weather ranch? Okay, so this is supposed to be the last of the cold weather we're supposed to be getting. 
for the for the, uh, hopefully till the end of the summer and into fall to where we don't need the uh, wood stove and that allow me to get some uh, some wood bought and wood cut. Plus, wood tends to be cheaper to buy when it's off season. So, yep, it's it, uh, looks pretty good to me. There's a little bit of a high spot there, but I'm willing to live with it. You know, because it's on the bottom of the pot. So, and this part will be where the dirt goes. And um, so I'm not too worried. So we're going to unscrew this stuff. Actually, that reminds me. Let me grab the uh, screw gun. Where did it go? I had it. I don't know what to do with it. Let's see. And, of course, I knocked my foot right into my soda. Hmm. Wow. Ugh. Just can't win. Oh, there it is. I'm blind as a bat. Uh, all my pottery crap is all right here. Here we go. Now we got that. And plus, too, like I said, a lot of this stuff is going to be trimmed off in a big circle. Um, that is where this tray over here will come into play um, in the back uh, behind me because this this will have to get lifted up onto it. Yeah. So I guess what I'm gonna do is probably scooch. Lift this up and scooch it. Uh, these uh, this paper, and see if I can try to get. It. Oh, no, 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 that won't work. That won't work. Give me a minute. I gotta rethink that situation. Hang on. I'm thinking on it. While I'm taking a break, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew all this. I need to get down to where they don't lift that roof and rule it up like that. rolling pin out of my way. Move the tools under here. Yeah. see that one's done I'm just trying to gently tease it off there we go yeah all right screw that on their finger tight so that the screws don't fall out or somebody steps on them. oof that would not feel good. 
So now this slab is at, you know, three-eighths thick. Or half-inch thick, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's how thick everything is, including the sides. Slide him under there. Ugh. That's kind of uh, annoying. Well, this one. There it goes. Got snagged. Okay. That goes under there. Yeah. Okay. Just teasing it out. Pulling it back. Get this little bit of excess clay off. And we'll put it just right on the end here because that's going to get cut off anyway. There we go. Okay. Everything is off. We need one of the sheets of plywood here. And then grab this dude. This is how this is all going to work. I'm going to set this up on there like that and like that. Okay. Ugh. Hang on, folks. Uh, there we go. I put all the foam onto the chair behind me that I sit and game on. So that's the that's our mold right there. Uh, all right. Just trying to get a little bit of a reference here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's set this one off to the side temporarily. You gotta remember, I'm an amateur, so I'm learning as I go. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can actually get this to behave. Almost got it. Just want to try to get it up on there really good. So I'm gently pulling it and lifting. See, this is why I wanted the wax paper so that it would help hold it together to allow me to lift it. Slowly going. There we go. I'm going to try to push with my chest. Got it. Aha. How's that? Make sure we oops, gotta pull it. There we go. Look too much this way. Uh oh. Yep. 
we be playing music on something here or other. There we go. Okay. It survived. Okay. All right. Now we can put this board on. Is this the one with the circle? Oh no, that one is. Okay. And this is going to be. All right. Like this. Okay, we sandwich kit. Now we can pick it up. This is the this is the danger part. Hold on. Let me let me put this uh, bow the opposite way so that it grabs the the stuff from the weight. There we go. Let's see if that's gonna work. Hey, Ranch! Need your help for two seconds! Come help me for two seconds! Okay, I think I'm gonna roll. I think I'm gonna roll it this way. Uh, gonna need you to step around and just put your hand over here so I can so take this whole sandwich and roll it and pull your bottom out to me. Put your hand right there, like right like this. I'm gonna pick it up. Just don't let that board move. Move your body part. Slide your hand up. Now push. Keep pushing down. Not hard. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Roll, roll. There we go. Hold on, my hand. Get, get, get your hand out of there. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's the difficult part. <laughs> it's the flip. It's the flip. Same thing when we get ready to have to do the darn thing. Mm. Let's see. Let's take a look what, what it looks like, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh. I got I, I got it backwards. What row? Hmm. What row? Now what? Oh boy. So you were gonna use this as your template? Yeah, and, and I got it backwards, not thinking about it. And you were going to put the clay, like the actual clay clay, on this board with no paper? Mm. Is that right? Yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh-oh. Well, do you want to stick it and flip it? Or it won't come off? I can try to see without the paper on it. Yeah. We'll yeah. Oh, yeah, I had to take flip it to do this. Okay. So, so it has to go again. Okay, all right. So we flip one more time? Yeah. That's what you're saying? Right we got to right. slip it one more time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you think it would be easier if we each grabbed a side like this and then... Yeah. Well, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get it to where the, the plywood matches. Okay. 
Nope, don't grab that end. Grab that back here yeah, like I'm, need, look how I'm need, grabbing it. My, I'm sorry, I needed to get my hand Honey. up right there. All right, now which way? Turn it up, turn it up, 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 up. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Hold on, I got it. Roll it, roll it, like I get your hand out of there. You gotta be fast. I'm sorry. There you go. That's better. Is that better? That takes you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Okay. All right, I'm going to bed. All right, honey. Have fun. I'm going to try. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I, I look forward to seeing what the end result looks like. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm sure. It'll be all right. It's all in fun, remember? Nobody's judging you. Or I know, you. I know. You're your worst, you know, critic, so it'll be okay. Whew. Okay. Anthony, All right, honey. Now I gotta figure out what happened to the uh, the. The protractor do 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 da uh, the compass. I'll put it in this. Yeah, I'll put it in here. Of course, it's all caught. Dead center here. Uh, where's the tape? Well, I'm having a rough go. Like I said, guys, there's stuff I'm still trying to learn how to do. <clears throat> now, remember, I did this dead center. But this board is actually short by a quarter of an inch. It's not exactly two feet. It's like uh, 32 or 23 and a quarter. All right, so what I do to compensate is split it. Trying to make a very light mark across this thing so I can get it dead center. That's pretty close. And just trying to make a light little mark. Okay. Now. Now I need one of my yardsticks. Let me try to get a good one here. They're lightweight. Take the screws out. Now I can take this and match, hopefully match the score marks here. There we go. So I just did a little light score mark. Okay. All right. All right, so 20 minus two, 
It is 18, all right? Let's see here. Just trying to make sure I have a reference here. Let me see here. Let me just put it. Uh, oh, actually, I just need to put up the center here and I think I can get it. So if that is That is 20, right? So 20 inches wide. I think, can we... off by about a quarter of an inch. What is going on here? Oh boy, I messed something up on that end where this darn thing is not wanting to mark right. It like wants to walk. Yeah, it's wanting to scooch off of there. Just moving. No, well, it's staying on there. Yeah, see, that's really irritating. I can't get the dang thing to stay. Oh, now, here we go. It keeps like moving on me, like even moving the, the, like it keeps moving further and further out. It's like really annoying. I don't 
understand that. It's like off center now, and I'm like, why is it doing that? When it's center on the line, it's not center down here. And it just keeps pushing it further and further away. Yeah, that's weird. And then it like changes like it's lopsided. Yeah, it's because this thing is not... Oh, this is really annoying me. It's because this thing keeps moving in there. Let me see if I can put my pencil on there. One of these other de deals. Ah, uh, yeah. Now I get the fun of trying to play with the damn thing. to a quick measurement here. Yep, that outer edge is where we need to be at. And we can fix that. So it'll be there. Well, I guess we'll trim it. Let me get that other tool. Uh, no, that's not the general one here. 
Ну, не нормально. Oh, geez. Number one, I said it. The beauty of having a stroke is you forget stuff like that that isn't like a permanent memory. That's not, I'm missing one tool. <clears throat> there it is. Cup guy here. Make sure I stay in the 18 range. Oh, come on. Whatever reason, this is off and it's just way messing me up.
slowly but surely getting this circle done. My compass, because I was overextending it and stuff, just give me all kind of trouble. Plus, because I think the clay was a little bit uneven in spots, I think that was causing it to be off when I was spinning it. Like high spots. Okay. Wow, I was almost dead on on my circle. Uh, all right, just need my bag here. Ugh. Literally almost dead on. That's pretty close right there. Literally have it almost all the way on the where my circle is. They're just teasing it out a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It ended up turning out okay. And I can kind of trim some of this stuff off to get it. Let's see how much I gotta go back. This side's a little bit. little bit off right here it, it's got like a little bit of a yeah looks good. Oh yeah. Now I just got to fix the middle, which is not a big deal, where I dug it out a little bit from the using that compass thing, which is not a big 
big whole big deal. Oops, not this one. Not this one. Just working this high spot out a little bit. Once I do, I can smooth it out. There we go. Now it's going good. Almost ready. Ah.
almost got it smoothed all the way back out now. Just a little bit of smoothing out and it's good to be good to go. Just trying to better some of this these marks out. All right, that doesn't look too shabby, I don't think. Just trying to clear out this little bitty hump that's right there. Trying to make sure them sides are smooth. There we go. some of these little chunks off of here. There we go. Yeah. Just gently pulling little, little, these little tidbits off of here so they don't cut these little um, excess pieces from when I was trying to get it all cut. To make sure that there won't be an issue when trying to put the sides on and all that. Yeah, see, like right there. I just want to gently brush some of that off. Because it'll cause the sides to be, like, uneven when you go to put the walls on it. There we go. So I'm just trying to gently tease some of this little excess loose stuff off so that it makes the, you know, makes it, uh, makes the, uh, makes everything kind of go play well together, you know? Yeah, and I'm no Bob Ross. I might be the hillbilly Bob Ross, maybe. Well, 
we're gonna find out how good it is gonna be when I'm all when it's all said and done, won't we? Well, oh, and actually, ugh, why I didn't grab this, I don't know, but I have I grab it now. My my spinner. See, we're making our making ourselves have all this trouble, and I've got a spinner that I forgot to utilize. See, now look at that. See, look at that. Now we can kind of see where we mess stuff up, or can maybe tease some stuff out. See, like this corner, I can pull on it just a little bit and try to get this to line up. Use a little spoon end here. Bring these teased out just a little bit. Just a little bit. See? And, I, and then I've teased it out some to get it back out onto that circle. Push that back down. Just trying to get the uh, these edges all cleaned up. Yeah. There we go. And now look, look at that. Now it's all going right back the way it's supposed to be going. See, now I can take and uh, hopefully you guys can see that good. I'm going to take and just gently tease that around with this little spoon. That's not too bad. I don't know. What do y'all think of that? All right. Another little break here. looks pretty good. This will be my second attempt at trying to make one of these. And uh, now that I have some of the proper tools, this second attempt uh, is going a lot better. I just start trying to get any little specks of uh, Play off of this thing just so I can make sure that it's gonna be, you know, what it needs to be. Uh, oh, 
I got my little teasing tool. See, this is why I needed to make sure that I kept my keep my tools close by. Got another little tool. Where's it at? Ah, right here. I got these two. I need to have out. These are some other tools that are great for this stuff, like this one and this one. All great tools for the job. Yeah, see, look at this dude. This dude get really will help with uh, with teasing out some of these rough spots. You can kind of tease that out. Some of it's a little bit gritty, so it's a little bit hard to deal with. Yeah, see, there's like some of them lines right there that I need to hide. not doing too bad. Get it smoothed out fairly decent. Let me get this tool on some of these little spots here. This little curved fingery tool helps straighten out some of these grooves, these scratches.
go. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. We are going to need our, our uh, one tool here that scores. It looks like a wire brush, like a paintbrush, but it's a wire brush. It cr creates the scratch marks. I'm hoping it hasn't disappeared on me. Get our uh, brush we're going to use for the Slip part. Uh, now we just need to find those brushes, that brush tool. This guy, right there. Okay, now I just need to get my hand the right height here. And what we're doing is scoring this so that it uh, makes the sidewall bind to the clay better.
Yeah, this helps the, the slip, which is which is just like really runny clay, um, get into the to the base material to make it bind better. There we go. Now we're starting to get it all coming together here. Okay, now that it's all kind of it's all scored up or whatever, that edge. We'll be getting ready here soon to, to lift this wall material up and see how that's gonna go. But, however, we are gonna have to cut said wall material, I believe. So we need, well, you know, I'm gonna have to cut off about four inches of it. Because in order to do the diameter of this pot, you need 56.550 inches uh, to go the whole entire diameter of this thing. So this little this little tool right here is pretty pretty remarkable, you know. It's amazing how these little tools are just for a like a purpose on here, and I just really really enjoy it and get a kick out of that. And then we're gonna have to make some little rollouts when we get this up here. So that's gonna be the other fun part. But let's get all this off to the side because we're gonna be struggling here in a minute to try to get all this to play nice together. Let's get all these off over there. Like that. Alright. This is going to be going to be real, real fun. Ah. Okay. Let's uh, scooch this back because we need to be able to get that up here to put um, a, our score marks on it. On the wall itself, that has to happen. All right, let's grab the board. Ugh. Yeah. Here we go. Scooch and scooch and scooch, 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 and boom. Now we need to unwrap the wrapper of this stuff. I kept this clay pretty wet and moist and uh, covered so that it wouldn't dry on me. Okay. Mm. 
Now I need to be able to trim, slightly trim this edge off. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more of a heavier duty tool to trim that because that clay is kind of being difficult to trim because it's been compacted. Wow, that stuff is stiff. We're going to have to wet the crap out of that. Yep, we're trying to get it all kind of wet because it kind of dried out even though I wet it. 
it's still kind of stiff. And I'm trying to get it broke loose off the paper as well. Now it's starting to loosen up too as I wet it. Yep, it's loosening up now. Now it's not so stiff. The more I let it uh, have some wetness to it and work it. Now I, once I get it on here, I'll have to... Uh, uh, Let it, uh, um, Yeah, you can see where some of that is cracking a little bit. Not bad, but enough to give me a hard time. Okay. All right, we're going to have to let that sit for a little while. But um, we can score it. So we're going to go, I guess, this way up. I forget the proper term for this. This just allows the two pieces to join together easier. <laughs> <laughs> 